In this lesson we're going to learn how to do a grid layout. Later on we're going to use this keyboard here and extend it slightly so that we can make a calculator. Okay, so let's learn how to use the grid layout. So I've gone to my like skeleton program here again and I've just put the title keyboard because we're going to create a small keyboard. So the first thing I've got to do is I've actually got to create that layout. So I'm going to call mine board and um, so we do self board and it's going to be a GTK grid layout but we don't have to say layout. So in this layout I'm going to have 10 buttons that go from 0 to 1. So I've got to create each of those buttons. So I'll do self dot button 1 and that equals a GTK um, button and that button I want it to have a label and I'm just putting the spacing because it looked better and I'm not going to do all of those one at a time for you because you'll get bored and I'm just going to put the rest of the buttons in and it's done in exactly the same way. The next thing I've got to do is attach those buttons to this board. So I want to say self dot board and to that board I want to attach my um, my well my widgets so the first thing is which widget do I want to do well the first one I'm going to connect is going to be my um, button one widget then I'm going to say which column do I want to put it in well I want to put it in column zero then it's which row do I want to put it in row zero then I say how many columns do I want it to span and how many rows do I want it to span and that's it and what I want to do I'm just going to put in the other buttons and we add them in the same way and I just want to talk about this last one here because these are all exactly the same but button zero so I still want it in um, column zero so that's as far over to the left as possible and um, I want it on the um, row th um, three so that's the fourth row down because we start counting at zero but I want it to actually span three columns Okay, so the last thing we're going to do, we've created this layout. This layout's got all these things in here, but the layout has not been added to our window. So it's our last thing we've got to do is self.add self.board. So all we're doing here is adding the board to um, our window. And that's it. So let's run that and bring it up and slight problem there it goes zero one I don't know what's going to oh, look I've got that zero there but it should be zero one two three four five six that bottom one's bigger than the others let's just correct that silly little thing there and change that to a one let's run that and I don't know why I've got two of those there but there we go so there it is and we've got our buttons in their places and in uh, a later video quite soon we're going to make this into a um, to some other things and make a calculator I hope you found the video helpful and um, all the code that was used in the video will be supplied below staying in field with Winfield